the magician is doing the best he can with what he has. You know what I'm saying? But let me give you the Tyler Hero stuff that I want to run by you all out there. Okay? Let's talk a little bit about Tyler Hero because he was shown and a lot of you wanted to, oh, why don't they act? You know, I got friends of mine that are calling, why don't they activate him, dude? And I was so, let me tell you something. I want to thank a lot of you out there that are tuning in. A lot of you that follow the show. We go back and forth on Twitter and all that. And I want to thank you because you got me thinking. And I have the answer for you now. Finally, I have the answer. If you're the Miami Heat, okay? Now, we talk a lot on our show. Sometimes we cross over to investments like crypto and things like that. And a lot of times I have this term that don't live in the micro because the micro, like Cody Zeller, you, oh, tonight he was terrible. Okay, let's go macro. Look at his last five games before that. He wasn't so bad. He, for a guy, a, a guy off the bench, he was at least productive, you know? So macro overall, you end done a bad job. Micro, you look at tonight, you're frustrated with Cody Zeller. You know what I'm saying? So it's cool. It's cool. But I want you to look at the macro now. In many different ways now with Tyler Hero, okay? One, the macro. What do you know about Tyler Hero over his history? Oh, he's a flashy player. He can handle the ball. He can pass. He can shoot. He can score. But he also gets injured a lot. Don't you? Okay, so now what do you want on this team? No matter, we want a championship right now, and let's hope they can pull off the miracle of all miracles. But outside of that, To move forward, what do you think the Heat needs? A star, right? Bam's not the answer. He's a terrific number four, probably. A mediocre number three or something. He he can't impose his will offensively. Caleb's not there yet. He's kind of went MIA today. Caleb Martin today. Um, 21 minutes, one of three shooting, three points, five rebounds, had two turnovers. So he's disappeared. After all the love we gave him and the explosion, he's still young. He has the potential, but he's not there yet, right? So they need a star next to Jimmy, right? Lowry's not a star anymore. Bam's a terrific role player. Uh, Vincent's a role player. Struce a role player. Caleb a role player. Uh, Duncan's a role player. Everybody's a role player around, around Jimmy, right? Okay, so... Macro, let's think the big picture. You've gotten this far without Tyler Hero. Did you need him against Milwaukee? No. Did you need him against the Knicks? No. Did you need him against Boston? No. Did you need him to get in the playoffs? No, you got in the playoffs. You've gotten this far. You beat Denver without him. So you're the Miami Heat. So let me ask you guys some, since you want to kill the Miami Heat for this, right? We kill him for a bad contract with Duncan which now it's gotten better. Maybe you can trade Duncan. But meanwhile, we have said this has been a bad contract for a while, right? Okay, so you gave Lowry a bad contract, and we're complaining about that also, right? So now Tyler Hero is a bad contract. The guy hasn't been available for the last two two postseasons. One to the Eastern Conference, one shot away from the finals without Tyler Hero. And this year you're in the finals, and it's 1-1 without Tyler Hero. So you've proven you can do this without Tyler Hero, without Oladipo, right? So in the offseason, you need a star, right? So isn't it better not to play Tyler Hero, get him healthy so you can trade him? Because if he plays in the finals, the brittle one could break down again. So if you want your championship, great. But you want a star. Well, Tyler Hero is part of getting you a star. Because now you can trade Duncan, who's very tradable along with Tyler Hero and maybe Lowry as a, you know, salary because it's an expiring one. So if you want better chips for the offseason, then you guys will then rip the heat for playing Tyler Hero. He gets injured, and now he's injured throughout the offseason rehabbing. How do you like them apples? So what do you think makes sense now if you're the Miami Heat? And now in the big picture, macro, not micro. Is Tyler Hero really the difference in what you're going to win this this series from what you're seeing? No. Tyler Hero doesn't bring something to the table that completely will put you over the top because you need defense to stop these freaks. Porter's a freak. Jokic is a freak. 
uh, uh, this guy, Aaron, is a freak. By the way, Highsmith is the only one that can stay with him, I think. Highsmith has got that body that he's got a little toughness to maybe stay with Aaron Gordon. Aaron Gordon is unmatchable for the Heat right now. And is Tyler going to stop any of those guys? No, dude, he doesn't play defense like that. So let's be honest. They got plenty of scoring and shooting. When they're hitting their shots, they're in the game. So they don't really need Hero. But don't you really need a better trade chip for the offseason? Isn't it better if you have a healthy Tyler Hero ready to trade? I think it is. I think it is. So maybe that's what the Heat are thinking right now. We've gotten this far without him. Let's uh, let's hold him off. We need trade chips for the offseason. Duncan has improved his value. He's driving to the hole. He's passing. He's rebounding. He's not just a shooter. Now we might be able to trade him. And Lowry's expiring contract will be sexy. If not in the offseason, by the trade deadline next year, it'll be a sexy contract. Folks, priorities. Think macro, not micro. And in the end, if they're going to win or lose here, I don't think Tyler Hero's the difference maker. He's never proven to be that. Plus, you don't even know if he'll last the next couple of games. Just being honest. And this is the Big O Show.